Welcome, everyone. My name is Craig Copley, and I'm senior producer, sorry, senior product manager for Corel Paint Shop Photo Pro. I'm here with Patty and Bernie, and today we're going to cover a number of interesting topics around photo organization and editing and photo sharing as well. First, let me introduce myself. I'm an avid photographer. I grew up in the 35 millimeter days of photography uh, from processing my own black and white to color and went through several different compact uh, SLRs uh, and uh, other cameras in the process. And I also jumped on the digital photography bandwagon about a dozen years ago and then completely switched once the digital quality got to the point where it actually rivaled film. I'm not a professional photographer, I'm what you would call a photo enthusiast. Second, I've been in software development for many years. I've been working on a broad range of products from educational products, games, uh, all kinds of print productivity products and now onto photo. So that means that I'm now able to tie my passion for photography into my work. How fun is that? Before we get started, let's go over a couple of housekeeping items, and I trust you're going to be able to see my screen there, uh, and I, I hope that's coming through okay. So first, uh, if you have a question for the Q&A part of the presentation, just go ahead and type it in the text area. We'll be reviewing as many of these as possible at the end of the session, and uh, also uh, if you're having any uh, questions or issues along the way, just go ahead and type in there and either Patty or Bernie will get back to you if at all possible during the session today. Second, we have invited people to the session from a wide range of backgrounds. Some of you are relatively new to digital photography. Some have been using tools to organize photos but haven't really gotten into editing yet. And others have a broad knowledge of photo editing. And I'm sure that we have all kinds of cameras from point and shoot compacts to digital SLRs as well. We'll try to make sure there's something for everyone in the session today. So let's take a look at the agenda. First of all, we're going to have a little bit of an introduction and background. That's the part we're in right now. Organization of photos comes next. We're going to talk about rating, tagging, grouping, deleting, making smart collections. We're also going to um, talk about some simple editing solutions. Specifically, we'll talk about our Express Lab tools in that area and applying edits to groups of photos as well. And we'll then talk about in-depth editing options, uh, ability to use our full editor toolbox, our Smart Carver specifically. We'll take a look at creating a quick uh, photo slideshow, and then we'll have some Q&A at the end. There will only be a few minutes for it, but we'll follow up as we can uh, later with your questions that you get in there today that we're not able to get to on the call. So my real objective is to show how easy and fun it is to work with photos, give some tips and, and tricks uh, from my experience, and then to show that there are lots of powerful tools to help you make the most of your photography. Software I'll be using today is PaintShop Photo Pro X3. It's available for a th free 30-day trial. And uh, check the uh, email that you received uh, for a link to, uh, to download. So into the background part of this discussion, uh, I, I guess the, the key for me is that uh, whenever I'm thinking about photos and photography and software and uh, cameras and lenses, it's really about the idea that if you're shooting photos, you're a photographer. You shoot for a specific purpose. You're telling a story, you're sharing your vision, you're documenting your life, or many other possible reasons. It is you, the photographer, it is your vision that you want to share. Uh, it, it's, that's what drives the process. It's your creativity, personality, and your plan which drives the results. Ansel Adams talked a lot about pre-visualization, imagining what the photo would be like prior to shooting. Do you have the right angle? Do you have the right settings on the camera? Do you know what the photo will look like prior to clicking the shutter? The camera is a tool to help in the process. So is software. The attempt 
is to get the perfect copy of your vision right out of the camera. The less processing and adjustments, the better. However, when something didn't go exactly the way you wanted and you need to make adjustments, software is available to help. And there's also possibilities of just simple adjustments or right down to uh, perception bending changes that you can make to photos. And uh, hopefully after we get done with a couple of the things in the session today, you'll realize that you know, reality is, is, is not necessarily something that you're going to see out of every photograph. Um, there are so many changes that are, you know, with the powerful software with, that we all have today. So in the day of cool digital cameras, it's easy to click, click, click around and just take photos and hope you get something good. But here's my, uh, my comment on that. It's really you, the photographer, take control of the process. Think about your vision. Think about, uh, about what you want to get out of the photography and then work on that every step of the way. It'll improve the photography you get dramatically. So let's go cut over into a demo. It'll take me just a moment here to uh, do a quick switch uh, to our program that we're showing today. So today we're going to be using um, hold on. There we are. So today we're going to be using a program called um, Paint Shop Photo Pro X3, and I have just launched it. It automatically comes up into uh, what is called the organizer, uh, and the organizer has a number of different features associated with it. So I just clicked around a little bit, made a couple of changes so you can see how this works. But um, first, let me just point out here, I have some photos in some folders along the side, and um, those photos are uh, basically uh, organized into date, uh, uh, and um, title folders. So it's year, month, day, and then a little bit of a, a, a description of what I was doing in that particular photo shoot. I shoot a lot of photos, so I actually organize it by, by year and month, and then in, inside of those folders I'll have year, month, day, and description. Now, one of the things that I want to be clear of there is that that's just the way I do it. It sorts alphabetically so that it shows chronological order. It's very easy to find your stuff if you kind of know about when you did a particular shoot. There's a lot of other tools for helping organize that, but that's, that's my way of doing it. What I want to empower you with here is work on of coming up with your own digital workflow, your own way of processing through your photos step by step. This is one example that I've found helpful, and I'm sure that you will, uh, you will adapt this uh, sort of thing to your, your own particular needs. So now that I've launched the program, you'll notice that uh, we open up into this organizer view. The or organizer is where I spend the majority of my time after a photo shoot. This is where I rate my photos, I tag my photos, I delete the really embarrassing ones, and generally sort through the photos and, and put them into groups that I'm going to want to work with later. You can see on the screen here that there's the ability to scroll through many images and I can see a nice preview of a particular shot that I have. In case where I want to see a lot more photos, I can make littler thumbnails. Uh, that works pretty well. Uh, and the other thing is that I can also uh, you know, manipulate the screen to show a smaller preview. I can actually show more data about the photos down here and such. So this is called thumbnail mode. And I also have, by clicking this little button right over here, a preview mode available. And preview mode is uh, useful for showing different, uh, uh, different previews, uh, and I have all of my thumbnails along the bottom in this particular mode. Again, same rules apply. I can hide the general info over here if I want. I can bring it back. I can adjust the size. I can have extended information available about each of my photos. It's all uh, set up so that I have control over it. Once I exit the um, the, the program and come back, it will actually remember the settings that I have created here so as to ease